class bench listener in this video and in this series of video i am going to introduce you to the most important and interesting field of cyber forensics when we talk about cyber forensics or computer forensic or digital forensic it's more or less in same thing before that we should know about computer crime and cyber security What's computer crime? A knowledgeable computer user sometimes referred to as a hacker that illegally browses or steals the company or individual's private information. This act called as computer crime or cyber crime. In some cases, this person or group of individuals may be malicious and destroy or otherwise corrupt the computer or data files. Here I am listing some different types of computer crime today. First one is child pornography. which means making or distributing child pornography hacking threats and blackmailing towards a business or a person this act called cyber terrorism harassing others online this act called cyber bully or cyber stalking hacking creating or distributing malware like viruses spyware this act called creating malware Next one is denial of service attack which means overloading a system with no many requests it cannot serve normal request spying on person or a business this act called espionage next act is fraud which means manipulating data for example changing banking records to transfer money to an other account collect account or other account related informations on other people it's called harvesting fight thief which means pretending to be someone you are not intellectual property theft which means a stealing practical or conceptual information developed by another person or company designing individuals to gain private or personal information about that person is called phishing stealing tiny amount of money from each transaction this act called salami slicing next one is scam which means tracking people into believing someone that is not true spamming in this technique distributed and solicited emails to dozens or hundreds of different addresses next one is spoofing in this technique deceiving a system into thinking you are someone you are really or not next one is unauthorized access that means gaining access to system you have no permission to access the act will be considered as an unauthorized access next one is wire tapping if anyone connecting a device to phone line to listen a conversation that act will be considered as wire tapping cyber security is also known as computer security e security or e tech security Cyber security comprises technologies, processes and controls that are designed to protect system networks and data from cyber attacks. Computer security can be anything from placing password on computers to setting up firewall. But cyber security or computer security reduces the risk of cyber attacks and protects the organizations and individuals from the unauthorized exploitations of systems, networks and technologies. what cyber forensic cyber forensics also known as computer forensic or digital forensic or e forensic it could be a process of the identifying preserving analyzing and presenting a digital evidence in a manner that is legally acceptable application of investigation and analysis techniques together and preserve evidence from a particular computing device in a way that is suitable for presentation in a court of law why we need computer forensic we seen about computer crimes if anyone affected by any computer crime or cyber crime cyber security and cyber forensic will handle that crime to prevent and protect us from that crime so it's produce evidence in the court that can lead to the punishment of the actual it's ensure the integrity of the computer system also it focuses on the response to high tech offenses started to intervene its assistance to the security forces for reaching the criminals it's taking preventive measures in the future also its assistance in the finding about the attacks objective of computer forensic main objective of computer forensic is to find criminals which directly or indirectly related to cyber world 
also it's to find out the digital evidence and produce that evidence in the manner that leads to legal action of the criminal we seen that cyber forensic produces digital evidence to court for legal action of criminal act any data it has recorded or preserved in any medium of in or by a computer system or other similar devices that is can be read or understand by the person or a computer system or other similar devices it's called digital evidence that evidences will be collected from digitalized devices like laptop gps digital cam video cam ipad digital watch notepad mobile pen drive voice recorder and so on we have some rules to produce digital evidence they are first one is admissible which means it must be able to used in the court or elsewhere next one authentic which means its evidence must be relevant to the case next one is complete that is must not lack any information next one is reliable which means it's a no question about authenticity finally believable which means it's clear easy to understand and believable by a jury digital evidence will be divided into two types first one is resident data second one is volatile data resident data that remains intact when the computer is turned off for example hard drives disk drives and removable storage devices examples are usb drives or flash drives volatile data which is data that would be lost if the computer is turned off for example deleted files computer history or computer registry temporary files and web browsing history We seen that computer forensic or cyber forensic produces digital evidence to court for legal action of the criminal act. Evidences will be collected from digital devices like laptop, GPS, digital cam, webcam, iPad, digitalized watch, notepad, mobile pen drive, voice recorder, and so on. From this digitalized devices, that evidences will be find out. Forensic team will find the evidences from text document, graphical image, calendar files, databases, audio and video files, as websites and application programs. Even though they are finding from viruses, Trojan hoses, and spyware, also email records and instant messaging logs, and so on. Then how to handle these informations? This information will be handled by two ways. one is volatile information another one is non volatile information volatile information is on network information communication between the system and the network this is how active processes program and demands currently active the systems which means it's logged on the users or employee is currently using the system those are opening files in library in use hidden files trojans and loaded in the system non volatile information they include the configuration settings system files registry setting that are available after reboot then accessed through drive mapping from the systems this information should be investigated and reviewed from backup copy cyber forensic team will follow some techniques to find digital evidence this techniques will be categorized in four ways they are live analysis cross drive analysis stenography and deleted files live analysis in this technique they are examining the computer from within this operating system using custom forensic to extract evidence cross drive analysis in this technique they are correlate information found on the multiple hard drives that can be used to perform anomalic detection for example in case winhex pro discover astol next technique is deleted files in this technique they are recovering a deleted files from digitalized tools they are using some software tools to recovering this data next one is technography in this technique they are concealing a message image or a file with an another message image or a file here detection of stenographically encoded packages is called stenologists the simplest method to detect modified file is to compare them to known original applications of computer forensics so financial fraud detection criminal prosecution civil litigation corporate security policy and acceptable use violations advantages are ensures the overall integrity and continued existence of organizations computer systems and network infrastructures 
helps the organizations to capture important informations if their computer systems or networks are compromised. Efficiently track down cyber criminals and terrorists from different parts of the world. Tracks complicated cases such as child pornography and gmail spamming. Disadvantages are cost, increasing storage space, new technologies, anti-forensics, legal issues, administrative issues. In this part, we discussed most essential concepts in cyber forensic introduction. First, we talked about what is computer crime or cyber crime and what are the acts will be considered as a cyber crime. Like child pornography, cyber terrorism, cyber stalking, denial of service attacks. Then we discussed about cyber security or computer security that has protect our network, data and information from cyber attacks. Next we talked about the definition of cyber forensic following that we discussed why we need the computer forensic and also we discussed about objective of cyber forensic that is to find the criminal which is directly or indirectly related to cyber world. Then we talk about digital evidence definition, rules, types and where to find the evidences. So we talk about how to handle the collected information and data from investigation of criminal act. There are two ways, volatile information and non-volatile information. Next, we discussed about four common forensic techniques or live analysis, cross-drive analysis, stenography and deleted files. Finally, we discussed about applications of cyber forensic, advantages and disadvantages of cyber forensic. I hope you understand this part. In next part, we will discuss about email security and firewalls. Would you like this video and you need more updates, subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching.